Alrighty, hi guys, welcome to today's pick a reading. So the first deck is going to be from um, Kali Ma, and it has the blue onyx on it. Um, this is a grounding stone. I have a couple messages for those that pick this group. And then this one is the ruby zoisite, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this comes with the rebel deck, so um, go ahead and pick the timestamps down below for group one or two, and let's get started. Okay, hi group number one. So you picked this card, and this is the version of Kali Ma called Buvan Zvari, okay? And it also goes with the blue onyx crystal that you chose from the reading. So I wanted to read what the what properties the crystal brings, and then I'm going to re read to you what kind of goddess this is as well. Okay, so the blue onyx is a grounding stone. It brings determination. Um, it allows you to focus on a task when you're going through either a difficult or confusing time. So some of you guys might be experiencing... Um, what I'm getting is that you're you're changing, like you're, you're looking for a fresh start, like you're going through a new beginning, either you're changing who you once were, letting go of who you once were, and um, it can be confusing. You feel confused as to where, where you should go, what path you should take, and um, immediately I'm getting to send you some good energy, so I'm going to light um, my Palo Santo spirit. Please send group number one some good energy right now as they go through this change. Um, some of you guys, your throat chakra might be blocked at this time, and you, I kind of feel like um, you're realizing that your purpose is to speak up or be in a public setting, and some of you guys have to let go of that shy personality, that anxious personality that you once had. Um, so just allow this crystal to like give you some of its energy. Now let's see what the goddess Baba has for us. All right, so new beginnings is what I'm getting for pile number one. Let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, so this version of Kali Ma is our cosmic mother. Okay, our cosmic mother is the light bringer, the sun and the moon, the light of renewal and healing. She is the divine voice, the sound of creation, the sublime note that births a golden error. Hers is the capacity to create a clean slate and a fresh start. She is hope and she is arising. She protects and pres preserves that which is worthy of the heart. She shines in perpetual state of divine beauty and radiance, reigniting our creative fires and attracting to us the most supportive and honoring circumstances. Her presence signifies the utmost grace. So this version of Kali Ma is bringing in, is allowing you guys to transition into this new era that you're going through. So she is a beacon of hope. So she's here to protect you and bring you more aligned back with your creative energy. Because some of you guys have um, been feeling either writer's block or you've just been feeling like unmotivated, unable to truly move. And um, so she's here to help you, assist you in that, okay? So also if you've been seeing the angel number 1010, this reading is for you, okay? Um, so let's pull out the tarot and see what other messages Spirit has for us today. Okay. Group number one, I'm really getting that you guys are meant to be speakers in some way. Communication is definitely like one of the things that you guys are very drawn to. Either you're writing a book right now or you are or or you're just meant to be on social media. I'm getting like speaking somewhere. Um like your voice is meant to be heard is what I'm getting from this. Some of you guys, your voice is meant to be heard. Um, so your throat chakra might be blocked. Are you guys um, avoiding speaking up on some type of circumstance is what Spirit is saying. Like you're avoiding a hard conversation right now. Or you're avoiding something that you know you're supposed to be doing. But you can't seem to get yourself to really just move. Can't really get yourself to move is what I'm getting. Um, mm, at the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing five of cups so some of you guys are regretting the future regretting some decisions that you've made in the past um disappointment grief so I, what i'm actually getting from this card is some of you guys are griefing grieving either a relationship 
like uh, either platonic or romantic um relationship that didn't work out in the way that you thought it would work out um and you're having some type of gr regrets or you're like your thoughts are keep on going over the same subject keep on going over the same subject so this might be what's causing you to not move to feel stagnant or stuck is what spirit is saying um and you really need to allow yourself to not only process your emotions but to let them go or not allow them to consume you because now is the time for you to be in this golden era like this is your time this is your winning season so you can't let distractions and people keep you in the frequency of lack or that um life isn't worth living um i'm getting that this person that you are also uh, mourning they might have scorpio placements um and spirit is saying that you just need to really focus on you. Um, anytime you find your thoughts going somewhere else, allow yourself to pull yourself back in and come back into your own reality, right? Um, and for some of you guys, this might be the version of you that you once were, that you're mourning, that you're you're losing. Um, it's almost like you feel like this this pain as you're letting that version of you die and spirit saying that that is okay to do but do not dwell in that energy like this is your this is your season to win right so allow allow yourself to process and mourn like you don't have to be fully 100 percent to do like to step into this golden era that you're supposed to be in but you have to allow yourself to truly like not get up every day and say what was me okay because this is your season to win this is your season to win. Okay, any other messages, Spirit? Any other messages? Any other messages? Alright. Any other messages for this group, Spirit? the seven of wands in reversed you're exhausted you feel like giving up your confidence is low you're overwhelmed you're overly protective so some of you guys i'm really getting that you're really you're 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 wanting to stay in this energy it's like you're choosing to be it's like you're afraid of the be things working out for you because your entire life you've never had things work out for you and you've you're kind of afraid to see what it'd be like if you bet on yourself or if you allow yourself to truly get hopeful for something or to know that something is going to work out for you so you're just like you know what like i'd rather not <laughs> try because then at least i can't be a failure if um if i just stick to who i once was at least i know what to expect out of that but spirit is saying that you already know what to expect you've already done those karmic cycles like this is a time for you to fully break free and to allow yourself to experience good things like you do not need to still be in this energy if you're still in this energy it's because you're choosing to be in this energy and this person like that you're still thinking about you have to leave them in the past they were there to teach you lessons what did you learn from the lesson allow yourself to fully cry um some of you guys are pretending that it didn't hurt but because you're still thinking about it you that's an indication that you're still hurting and your heart is aching for this person but spirit is saying that this is your time to win this is your season and everybody who's done you dirty in the past like they're about to show them exactly who you are how blessed that you are but you have to literally let go of that version of you and stop clinging to the familiar because the familiar led you down paths that you already know the outcome to um get comfortable and change get comfortable in the unknown is what spirit is saying and some of you guys might be a life path seven so it's like you knew you already know like you're, it's easy for you to connect to your higher self it's easy for you to know that there's better out there but for some reason you because you don't see it in your 3d reality you're still second guessing yourself and this is mm, the six of cups so familiar familiarity happy memories reminiscing childhood memories innocence joy and nostalgia so some of you guys are really like living in the past is what spirit is saying so this is why you're probably feeling so very anxious and th the color blue does calm anxiety so i could see why you were drawn to this card um so you guys you have to realize that yes you, what you knew in the past was familiar but it didn't lead you to anything that you thought it was going to yes that relationship didn't work out but you have to trust that there are better stronger connections coming that are more in line in alignment with you you're not made for everyone and spirit is saying that this lesson wasn't to, 
to like beat you down and keep you down but it was for you to, t to teach you something to teach you about boundaries to teach you about setting standing up for yourself so that when you do meet those people who are in alignment with you you will not let people or anybody else for that matter of fact to walk all over you so that was the lesson of this whole thing is for you to stand up for yourself and set healthy boundaries because this, the rooms that you're going in you, it's good for you to have healthy boundaries otherwise you'll be completely exhausted running around bending around backward bending over backwards for everybody else um and that wouldn't allow you to want to stay in your success or reap the rewards of your success because you're doing you're in that energy of people pleasing so that was the lesson that you had to learn it wasn't to punish you but you guys keep on replaying what could have happened in your head is what spirit is saying and then and it wasn't going to change the outcome like everything was faded everything happened to you for a reason at the bottom of the deck we have ambitious action oriented driven to succeed fast thinking defending beliefs so some of you guys were like i'm getting that you wanted to be right so bad is what spirit is saying that you wanted to be right about this situation you wanted to be right about this person so bad and because you can't prove it or because it didn't work out in that way you're still finding yourself in this like sad low energy but spirit is saying that you need to surrender your need to be right because if you're going to always try to be right you're going to always be exhausted your energy is flowing everywhere trying to prove everybody wrong but you're not focused on your own reality and if you were focused on your own reality you would see that this golden error it's here for you like you're being supported and you're being led down the path of blessings divine blessings like divine miracles um all of these things are destined for you because you are actually very ambitious you're very goal oriented so you being in this stagnant energy is not normal for you because this is not how you're meant to be like some of you guys might be a capricorn um aquarius placements but you guys you have that you have that drive okay and you're destined for success 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 is chasing you but you're allowing yourself to sit in this um energy longer than you needed to long long longer than is needed for you to be sitting in this energy is what spirit is saying um let's see i'm going to use my um elemental or oracle for my empaths because i'm getting that this group um is very you're very much very emotional um and i'm not saying that in a bad way i'm just saying that you feel your emotions very deeply so when things happen to you it's hard for you to process and let them go you kind of need more time than the average human which doesn't it doesn't mean anything it's just saying that you feel things very deeply but you have to learn to get a hold of your emotions because you can't allow yourself to sit in this energy and miss your window you know spirit is really wanting you to like to show you what life can be like if you just open your eyes to the possibilities so at the bottom of the deck i have being unapologetically you so some of you guys have to just learn that being yourself and setting boundaries means that you're not in alignment with everybody not everybody's meant to be for you like if that was the case then everybody would be made the same everybody would dress the same everybody would talk the same so you have to get you have to be okay with judgment you have to be okay with how people criticize you because honestly like if this group is meant which is like spirits tell me that you're meant for the spotlight you're meant to be in some type of communication some type of for like social media something that has to do with communication and speaking um <clears throat> You're going to be around a lot of people um so if you're not used to criticism or you're if you're not able to take criticism if you're not able to take judgment then you will fold like they will eat you up like fresh meat like wolves the wolves will be at you so this lesson was to prepare you it wasn't to punish you it was because you're going to be in those type of rooms that spirit needs you to be able to understand that you know what like not everybody's for you and if you're going to be around people who have high status um right um not to just fold because they want to be your friend to really just take the time to get to know people instead of just putting assumptions on them and taking them for face value because a lot of people can mask and pretend to be somebody that they're they they aren't so it's like you need to learn these lessons so that when you spot it again you can avoid these situations these karmic cycles um yeah so just don't be afraid to be yourself don't let this situation um keep you in that um frequency so at the i split the deck and i see already integrated woman so some of you guys are really struggling with accepting yourself is what spirit is saying um you need to integrate the lessons that you've learned grounded healing so this is again you're being called to ground so i'm going to really just put this card here and 
put the unapologetic card there as well so i'm really getting that you guys really do need to learn to accept yourself and that that was the point of this whole like situation that you went through spirit is saying it wasn't to punish you it wasn't to make you feel like um, you can't make friends or that you're not you're not destined for love or romantic connections it was to let you know that like you need to accept yourself before anybody can accept you but if you're looking for somebody to validate you then you're going to always be feeling lack you're always going to be feeling um not fulfilled because <laughs> your self-respect is is counted on somebody else so that means they can take it away at any moment right um and i'm i'm getting this feeling that like this person that you're you're being sad over like you're really hurt because the character that you thought they had isn't the person that they actually are and spirit is saying that like yes we understand how you're feeling and we showed you that their character for a reason but you need to allow it to just be a lesson that you learned and let go okay any other messages for group number one any other messages for group number one spirit okay this card i'm gonna use other messages okay so we have sky expansion your true self and death and rebirth so you guys need to really allow this death this rebirth that you're going through to really come through like you are a phoenix rising from the ashes like you've been through so much and you should not let this one situation keep you down is what spirit is saying because this isn't even the hardest shit you've been through you have to remember how much hard shit you've been through in the past right how much things did you overcome and 555 on the on the um timer as i'm saying this you're going through a major transformation right now you have to allow the change to happen or it's going to feel painful it's going to feel extra painful so yes you can cry about it but how are you taking care of yourself self-care is what you really need right now and to one step at a time towards your goals you don't have to be making big steps because spirit understands that you, this transformation is heavy but how can you move towards your goals one step at a time daily right um so the new version of you, you need to release the resistance to the cycle change is what spirit is saying. And this version, um, this card is saying your true self, your higher self. A lot of you guys are connecting to your higher self. You're realizing what it means to be un unapologetically you. And because this is also new for you, you've also realized that a lot of people have step taken a step back out of your life. And spirit is saying that that is protection. That is that is that is, that was meant to happen because this version of you, they cannot handle it. They were too small. So the people that are being replaced, they're they're going to be replaced with new people who can handle who you are now who can love you for who you are now and not think that your feelings or your um the way that you love is too okay sorry pal number one my phone cut out but yes um just learning to accept yourself and know that you are aligned with your unapologetic self your higher self and this was meant to happen for a reason trust your intuition with people this is the lesson that spirit was trying to teach you is that you have the gift of discernment and you know you get to choose who gets to be in your energy and exposed to your heart and your love and you will be in a match an energetic match for the people that will love and will love you unconditionally without conditions or um start to treat you differently after you set boundaries healthy boundaries but like you need healthy boundaries in life okay this is how you move on up into this new frequency this new timeline that spirit is putting you into okay um and this one we have number one so some of you guys are really in a leadership position sky expansion okay so really just get into this card okay so some of you guys it's your mind your your consciousness is is raising um is what spirit is saying that your consciousness is raising and you are realizing that there's more to life than what you've been told as a kid and you're allowing yourself to really just evolve and the person that you are you are chosen and god is saying that you are made special so you're not made for everybody like even if you think about all the things that you do all of the the natural talents that you have it's going to bring in jealous and envy people envious people because they don't see that in themselves so when you take on the projections of others you're, you're telling yourself that you are not worthy that you're not less that you are lesser than and you're allowing this person to dictate who you are and spirit is saying that you are above this like you've already learned these lessons allow yourself to learn the lesson and just push through push through is what i'm getting push through do not stay stuck in this is in this energy um so yes we've read that card already actually okay so at the bottom of this deck we have sensitivity so spirit is supporting you right now like even if you don't feel like you're being supported you're definitely being supported right now um 
your sensitivity is not the problem your heart is not the problem so if you if you're thinking in your mind that you know what maybe if maybe i just need to be as cold as everybody else in the world you've tried that already is what spirit is saying that how did that work out for you you the only thing that you needed to do was to be yourself you're on a you're on a apologetic self and align yourself with people who understand that your heart is not a weakness and it should be cherished think about the relationships that you have in your life right now that flow with ease whether that be your relationship with god whether that be your relationship with a, a particular person it should not be hard and social media has us thinking that relationships should be hard yes they take work but not to the point where it's like okay you're trying to convince somebody of your self-worth you should never be in that predicament where you're trying to convince somebody what you are worth okay um yeah so that's what spirit is saying i'm gonna put this card up here okay so since this pile needs um grounding i'm going to pull out my green witch's oracle deck and see what mother nature has to say for us and then lastly we're going to close off the reading by reading the ritual of kalima um so you can help you transition into this new timeline and really just anchor yourself into this golden opportunity that spirit has for you okay so let's see what mother nature has to say first Any messages from Mother Nature? Any messages from Mother Nature? Oops. Okay, so I'm going to just put this back on the bottom. Alright, Spirit. Any messages from Mother Nature? Motar and pestle so integration subtlety thoroughness okay so what i'm getting from this card is spirit is saying that you really need to all the lessons that you learn to sit down and really just think about it what lesson the lesson that you're currently struggling with right now and letting go of really just sit down and say what can i take away from this experience like if there's always something to learn from everything that we go through instead of thinking about it as in woe is me and life can never get any better um oh my god i'm i'm just like why does this keep happening to me like you were spirit saying that you're you're finding yourself falling back into your old ways into that victim mentality and that's not the point here so what did you learn from the situation Next, we have potion, invigoration, empowerment. So allow the situation to empower you instead of keeping you down and having you think that, you know what, like maybe I'm not worthy of connections. Maybe I'm just like destined to be alone. No, that is a victim mentality. Reclaim your power. And you know what? If somebody um, showed you who they are, you just accept that. You accept that and you say, you know what? This is not a reflection of me. This is a reflection of them and how they grew up, their own perceptions and how they feel about themselves. But do not take it personally next we have sage so we have wisdom purification and harmony so what i'm getting is spirit is saying that you really need to cleanse your energy so some of you guys need to sage clean up your room um maybe right now because you're also feeling stagnant and stuck your room might be um in a mess like take a look around right now is your room a mess if the answer is yes then you need to clean your energy cleanse your energy cleanse your energetic field allow yourself to really just breathe in fresh opportunities which is here for you knocking on your door babes knocking looking for you so let me just read what Kali has to say for us today, okay? For group number one. <clears throat> okay. All right, group number one. So, beautiful bu Bhuvanzvari, fourth of the Mahavidya, wisdom goddess, is colored like the rising sun with the crescent moon at her bow. Let me just like show you guys this card again. Okay. Um, she is the goddess of abundance and the kind priestess that provides the pathway to healing and fulfillment. She's the quality of pres pres preservation and sustaining nourishment. When we have fought hard to accomplish something worthwhile and honoring of the soul, she provides the means to protect it so it may endure. This may relate to a state of being, a project with the heart, or a relationship karmically destined to unite and empower certain souls for the spiritual benefit of the collective her presence particularly relates to the divine beautif beautification of the physical world the bringing of heaven to earth the name Bunsvari means sovereign queen of the world from buvana which means the earth our world and in 
our world and is isvari which means female ruler so some of you guys are really like stepping into this leadership position and spirit is saying that when you're in that role you're gonna have to have boundaries you're gonna have to have confidence you're gonna have to believe in yourself and your self-worth because if you don't people can smell that on you and they will take advantage of you if you allow your empathy to be stronger than your boundaries and that's why you have to go through this lesson and it's not to say that your sensitivity is a weakness but you have to learn to protect yourself and not allow yourself to be so empathetic that you allow other people to walk all over you um where was i if there is a situation in your physical life that has ugliness and discord at its heart the parent of Bo Bunsvar, Bunsvari signifies it shall be healed and realigned through her grace. Believe in the beautiful possibilities of what you are yet to, you are yet to experience, rather than placing your faith in what you have experienced thus far. So she's really calling you to let go of the past and be open to new experiences. And this new feeling, that, the feelings that you're feeling about this past hurt relationship, she's gonna be here to restore you and align you back to divine love to be able to just see the situation for what it is and not take it personally. Her presence in a reading signifies harmony and beauty awakening in your world in a very tangible way. As the creatrix of the forms of all worlds, including the world of our bodies, she holds special power to work on the physical level to bring healing to our bodies and material circumstances. So you guys are really like stepping into your most abundant era. This is like, this is your time to shine. Um, I love that for you. <laughs> oh, bless me. As the energy of fulfillment, wellness, and vitality, Bunzvari is the divine feminine medicine for those who run their energy levels to depletion. Hovering somewhere between exhaustion and barely scraping by to meet all demands. So I'm really getting that some of you guys are earth signs in this group. You tend to work yourself till there's nothing left. You put a whole bunch of, um, to, you put a whole bunch of things on your to-do list and you you be getting it done um but spirit is saying that you're you need to learn to balance your masculine and feminine energies so you need to really just affirm to yourself that success being successful doesn't mean that you have to work to the point where your breaks are breaking off okay success flows to me with ease success flows to me with ease is your is your affirmation declaration she can help us replenish and to learn what it feels like to operate from a place of fullness so what we give does not deplete but encourage us to open more to receive more so it flows overflows when such a giving takes place we are strengthened and uplifted in a reading she indicates a shift from poverty consciousness and lack to prosperity consciousness and abundance Bunsvari is the prim audio creative divine power of sound she is the goddess vak who in emanates as saraswati the goddess of sound music creativity knowledge and healing the oracle indicates the significance of voice creative power inner authority and sound healing all created phenomena have a sound frequency it may not be physically audi audible but the vibration can be felt at a soul level if it vibrates higher than we do it will uplift us if it vibrates lower we may feel pulled down or depleted by it unless we can remain peacefully anchored in our true frequency in which case we tend to influence lower energies and uplift them with our presence everything has a frequency from the people and places we connect with to the energies that permeate and influence the space where we live and the objects with which we surround ourselves all things we have all things have a story to tell the more sensitive we become the more we will feel and potentially be moved positively or not by that story to surround oneself with <clears throat> that which speaks the story that heals us that supports and inspires us can be constructive for our well-being and spiritual progress in a reading Bunsvari brings our attention to the influence in our life asking you to note how you feel around certain people or places and to consider how to protect and uplift your energy so this is really just a lesson is what spirit was saying is like you needed to differentiate why you feel good around certain people and why you don't feel good around certain people and learning to trust your intuition was really what you have to do in the situation um so that when you step into those rooms of power that you don't allow uh someone who comes to you just saying the right things to be in your energy just because they they want to be in your energy you get to do the choosing based off of what you've learned how you feel around certain people um 
Moonsvari's gift of pers preservation is the counterbalancing power to Kali Ma's destructive energies. With Kali breaking through the false foundations, Boonsvari can help to rebuild the preser rebuild and preserve what is true to the soul when Boonsvari arises in a reading she's asking you to take note of what needs to be preserved protected and secured even during the wilds of Kali Kali Ma's transformational activities in your life sometimes a period of withdrawal to allow for protection and inner strengthening is helpful occasionally we simply need to place what is precious away from the grasp grasping and greed of unworthy hands you can genuinely love and wish for the spiritual fulfillment of all hearts while still recognizing the limitations of yourself and others and responding appropriately. Bunzvari helps us to see clearly by increasing the light in our lives. Her presence is also an indication that at some level you need a completely fresh start and she will fa facilitate this inner reset if you are willing to allow it. This will bring you freedom at and energy to reach new heights so if you guys do accept her help all you have to do is say i accept your help wounds wounds vary how you pronounce it i hope i'm not butchering it <laughs> um and allow her to help you like go through the cycle that you're experiencing okay so here's the prayer that you can say aloud <clears throat> Beloved goddess of universal light, Bunzvari, our beloved rising sun, priestess of the crescent moon, bejeweled and abundant with golden grace, soft with compassion, generous source of all prosperity and hope, you nurture our souls. You are the gift of sustaining grace. You are the wisdom of sustaining protection. I open my heart to you, welcoming you without hesitation into every aspect of my life, in every dimension of my being. May my soul be an altar to your love, wisdom, and grace for the spiritual benefit of all beings. May I live in complete integrity and harmony with your will. As above, so below. Ja Ma Devi. Ja Ma Bunzvari. So then you can open your arms above your head. Visualize, intend, or imagine that a radiant golden goddess is shining abundant grace into your arms. As you slowly draw your arms down alongside your body, you are gently guiding a column of her golden light around your form. When your hands are pointing down toward the earth, the column of grace and light moves into it, bringing blessings into the earth's subtle body where they can be distributed as needed for the spiritual benefit of all beings. Repeat this movement to generate the column of grace eight times. When you are ready, finish with your hands in prayer at your heart. You have completed an invocation ritual. So that's a ritual that you guys can do on your own time whenever you would like. Um, but overall, for pile number one, I really just want to say that you you've been through a lot and these relationships these past hurts i can feel it like i can feel your energy and i feel that you've been through so much hurt and spirit is saying that you needed to learn these lessons baby so that when you go into these rooms you do not take people pleasing with you to the next chapter it wasn't to punish you it wasn't to make you feel like you something's being done to you it was your protection it was so that you can learn the different types of personalities the different types of people some people who mask more better than the other ones so that you don't get swept up in all the shiny stuff that's coming for you that's what i'm getting all all the well-dressed people that have all these masks that everybody thinks is so great but maybe their energy is nasty and they don't have any integ any integrity right so you're gonna stay true to yourself because you've been through this already you know who's genuine and who's not genuine and you had to learn boundaries baby that was the whole lesson so um this is group number one if it resonated please give it a like um comment and share this with somebody subscribe it helps the channel i love you guys sending you nothing but love at this time okay i'm gonna light an incense to send you good energy for your well-being to allow you to remove um the stagnation um after this reading okay all right i love you guys bye, -bye. okay hi group number two so you chose the heaven scent from the sacred rebel deck so i'm already getting that so you guys' crown chakra is open because i'm very drawn to my um amethyst crystal at this time the color purple is really coming out in your reading and i'm saying that you guys your your crown chakra is open and i'm loving that for you guys it seems like i don't know you guys are waking up to who you you're waking up to the truth divine truth and it's feeling like an energy of you're almost like overwhelmed because you're just like okay like now what um i'm like you're starting to do your um 
your soul purpose, your soul work. You're learning different spiritual things um, about the planet, about where you come from. Just like different concepts that you're really just wrapping your mind around. And spirit is saying that um, you guys need to like really, you need some type of guidance because you're just like, okay, like I know my purpose, but what's next? So, all right, spirit, what is next for group number two so already i'm noticing love companions the ace of cups new feelings spirituality intuition new baby prosperity marriage okay so you guys are really your intuition is through the roof right now spirit is saying um there isn't anything that you cannot manifest at this time i'm getting that this group is a master manifester master manifester um you guys are waking up to see that you have the control of your life right now like you are the magician you are making you're calling the shots is what spirit is saying you're calling the shots um and you're kind of learning like what you're learning you're learning more about how to be present in your life and really just enjoy the little things in life because when you woke up you thought it was gonna it was gonna be like this big um grand thing every day but you're realizing that now that you have the control of your life that you get to dictate how your life um goes and you're in the driver's seat to choose what brings you joy but for this group i'm getting that you're not really sure what brings you joy but you're you know that like you get to make the decision so it's just feeling like you're kind of a little bit overwhelmed is what spirit is saying um so spirit does this group have what is going to bring this group joy okay and you guys also chose the ruby ruby zosite i think that's how you say it and this this crystal and this crystal it is activating activation in your crown chakra it allows your soul to remember and it brings spiritual healing sp no spiritual learning it helps you understand life better as well so it's definitely on point for the um the theme of this reading let's see i don't know why these cards are just like extra stiff today okay all right what's gonna bring group group number to joy and fulfillment in their life right now okay okay any other messages for him? okay temperance balance and harmony okay let's see so we have the queen of wands mm three of pentacles the empress and the temperance card okay so i i feel like group number one you're still okay so you you have a bunch of ideas of what you want to get done but right now you're kind of lacking in the finances is what spirit is saying and but it, what the thing is that spirit wants you to realize is that the money and the dreams that you desi desire is not when to is not going to actually bring you fulfillment um those things are just external things you should feel abundant and whole as you are right now so that's why right now they're holding off on giving you those those things that you desire because they want you to realize and and enjoy the little things in life before you're blessed with the the bigger things in life because they don't want you to attach your your identity to those things because if you say for example you're meant to be a youtuber right you're more than just a youtuber but if you attach your self-worth to that then you become a slave to that so we unconsciously enslave our things enslave ourselves to things because we decide that this is what dictates what we are worth right so you're meant to go through this cycle right now of learning to enjoy life in the simplest ways so just listening to your heart center is what spirit is saying what do you feel for in this moment it could be to just get up and dance and and watch a disney movie like you're over complicating it um by trying to figure out what it is that's going to bring you joy just get up and follow your heart ask your heart what do you need in this moment sometimes it might just be as, sim as simple as a hug right so th don't focus on the things that you don't have because at the end of the day you are already abundant you are able to raise your consciousness and completely open up that crown chakra and spirit is saying that we saw like all this spiritual work that you did and they were they were very impressed with all of that that you did because it takes a lot of courage it takes and you never stopped learning new things you never stopped learning ways to liberate yourself and this is what i'm getting from like this rebel you choosing the rebel deck is already letting me know that you you hated being told what to do you hated being attached to all these different cords that say you know what you have to be this person you have to do this and you were tired of the labeling so this is why you're also still going through this um this like patience like being like put to wait because it's like 
spirit doesn't want you to at now attach yourself to new identities that are maybe this these identities bring you more abundance but they're still enslaving you in a way if you allow if you allow them to so right now you just need to learn to enjoy the present moment and enjoy and do make with what you have make do with what you ha what you have is what spirit is saying so um then we have the three of pentacles mm. so right now you guys are in the beginning of building something new and spirits is already feeling that you feel frustrated because it's not moving as fast as you would like it to and spirit is saying that things good like things that last long take time right um if you were to get your success fast over overnight you wouldn't appreciate it you would not um and for some of you guys i'm getting that you would it would actually scare you like if you really got your manifestation right away then it would actually scare you um <laughs> so it's like spirit is saying that they know what you can handle and that's why it's like a slow and steady wins, wins the race because there's still things that you need to learn and when you're going to be in those rooms like for some of you guys you're going to be in in um in the public eye and you're going to be around people that that think they can play with you play with you is what spirit is saying so you need to be grounded enough in your spirituality because like what i'm getting is like your crown chakra is very activated but like you're you're almost you're like you don't want to be here on planet earth not in a like suicidal way but in like a way that you're like i'm meant for so much more like the 3d realm isn't moving at the pace that i would like it to like your soul just feels like i can do so much more just let me do so much more but spirit is saying that you really need to ground yourself your root chakra needs to be grounded in the now because you're trying to skip 10 steps ahead when it's really just slow and steady spirit just wants you to get like take a step a day um and really just focus it on what brings you joy because right now it's really just up to divine timing like you've done the spiritual work you've done like what you've done the um the, the blockages that you need to remove so spirit is saying that right now you're really just waiting on divine time so <laughs> pick up a hobby or <laughs> learn something new um unbiased judgment clear boundaries direct communication clear-minded perspective so you guys i'm getting that you recently went through um like a spiritual lesson and spirit is saying that you did a good job you passed that test it was really just for you to stay firm on your boundaries and you did just that you decided that this person wasn't going to undo all the spiritual work that you did and you weren't going to let them bring or lower down your your frequency because you worked so hard to raise your consciousness and spirit is saying that you did a good job like you passed this test and you showed them that you are no longer atta attached to the frequency of suffering or um drama or getting distracted by the petty things like you're ready to really just hone in and focus in on your goals and group number two um your angels are very proud of you like i'm hearing like yay woo like we're so proud of you like um for not allowing that energy or those thoughts to dictate what you what path you were going to choose and you always came back to choosing yourself so now you're removing yourself from any distractions any drama you're just not on that type of time no more you're not on that type of gossiping time no more you're just you're just like okay i'm here for success so spirit is saying that you passed that test right now it's just divine timing and staying in alignment with your desires so that just means one step at a time while also finding something else that brings you joy so you really just need a hobby is what i'm getting again so we have temperance so balance and harmony so what i'm getting is that spirit really wants you to really just be patient um some of you guys like you, your masculine energy is very prominent right now like it's really it's outweighing the feminine and you need to realize that just working hard is not what's going to bring you success it's really just allowing yourself to receive um so focus on on doing some yoga um exercises that bring out your feminine energy um some breathing exercises that bring out your feminine energy something that i like to do is put my um right thumb over my right nostril and i visualize the moon and i let that breathe I breathe into my entire being and I let that um, soak up on the left side of my body and that's how you bring in like the energy of being able to receive blessings from spirit okay so those of you that might need that who are struggling with the balance between your yin and yang energy that message is for you so let's see what other what other deck are we going to use mm. okay so for this group I'm going to pull a card from the gateway light activation deck so this is what it looks like so you guys are going through major um downloads so i think some of you guys might need some light codes right now so let's see what the oracle deck has for you all right Ooh, almost tumbling everything over okay <laughs> wow okay 
so let's see some of you guys i'm really getting that this new world of like peace and joy it's like you're nav you're trying to navigate through it and it feels it feels different like than what you're used to you're used to problem solving and now you, you're looking around you're like there's nothing to solve like there's no like major challenges that you cannot handle so you're feeling like okay like am i gonna be tested again or is this like really for real <laughs> and spirit is saying yes you've entered a peaceful time to just allow yourself to really learn what it means to take care of you and not have to be in survival mode so that's why spirit really wants you to focus on your joy as well they're not keeping your blessings from you they just want you to to not just think that life is all work and no play mm -hmm. Any other messages? What is my collective going through? Orion activation, supernova, rec recreation, renewal, rebirth by light. All right, let's read what that um, energy has for you guys. And then let's pull another card, actually. Order of Mel Melchivedek embrace light mission uncovered don't give up okay so just because things are moving slow right now spirit doesn't want you to take this as a time for you to just be like oh my god like i don't know what i'm doing let me just not try no spirit is saying that right now you're being protected you're being protected so just trust in your path okay okay so let me read orion activation let's see what kind of light codes are coming to you guys mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm really getting that. Some of you guys are life at seven, so you're really close to God. And in this life, you're meant to communicate all the things that you've learned. So, like, I'm really getting that some of you guys are, you're really fast, quick learners. Like, you really grasp the spiritual world pretty easy. Like, when somebody explains something to you, it's not like it's, um goes in one ear and comes out the other. You really just understand that, wow, okay, this makes way more sense than the whole idea. <laughs> what I'm getting is, like, some of you guys used to laugh when people said in school when you were growing up that we came from monkeys, like, evolution. You thought that was a joke because you're like, yeah, okay, like, cool. What kind of bullshit is this? <laughs> you were always like the rebel in school that spoke up when you thought things were just like being conditioned into you, you but you didn't even know at the time you were just like i think this is bullshit and i'm gonna say it <laughs> so some of you guys really do have that mouth on you and i'm getting a lot of fire placements coming up for that let's see um fire and air placements let's see um so orion is one of the best known constellations in the night sky its name is greek for hunter and its stars can be seen as a figure with a sword accompanied by a dog sirius at the center of the constellation three stars Al Alitak, Anilam, and Manika appear in a belt-like form. To the south of Orion Belt, there's a nebula that has revealed much about how stars and planetary systems are formed. The best way to describe this space is as a star nursery. During a star's last evolutionary stage, it explodes into a supernova which provides the best space for a new star to be born oh so you guys are really going through that major rebirth i love that for you guys and i know it must feel scary it must feel like oh overwhelming the orion constellation is home to a number of higher beings many of whom are dedicated to the evolution of our planet even though the idea of constellation being a hunter may make it seem highly masculine its energies are in fact similar to those of lumerians and its inhabitants therefore honor all beings the being of orion are in fact sacred space holders who help all of those with star powder sorry star power and star potential to make the changes required to become the most ascended and aware from where form of themselves okay so you guys are really like Ooh, so you guys might relate to being an orion person um and you're really just here to just like in this lifetime what i'm getting is that you came here to really just become your higher self you're you came here to evolve and teach about spirituality like you felt like god had his hands over you your entire life the universe all like literally chose you like you felt special your entire life you never fit in with other people and you just thought that other people were like like i felt like you were just what i'm getting is like old soul like you felt like an old soul like you just knew things like and you were more mature than the people around you to connect to the card find orion in the night sky or connect with its image online so you guys can connect with this card and all you have to do is say great wise ones of orion thank you for supporting my re recreation and renewal I am ready to shine like a star. 
Mm, I get money, I'm a star. 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 Yeah, that song is coming up. Okay, so you guys are really just like, you're entering your most abundant era. So Spirit is saying, don't think that like, because things are slow right now, you won't be successful. Babes, like, they got you. Um, so your message is all your fears and setbacks are being stripped from your energy now. It is essential for your old way of being to fall away and for you to go through a process of renewal in order to move forward the old stories of your life aren't yours to live out or live up to you are far greater than these limiting experiences the beings of orion are surrounding you now and they see you as one of them excuse me someone who has been born with the knowledge that they can live with greater purpose and make a real difference to the world, whether on a global scale or in a particular corner of the planet. When you draw this card, you're being reminded that you have infinite star potential. So anything is possible for you. Literally, Spirit is saying that anything you want, they will give it to you. But they're trying to make sure that you learn the lessons so that like you don't you don't get scared and, and want to like run away from it. So right now you're really going through the process of allowing that old version of you to fully die and just embrace this new version this new evolved person who whose consciousness is really just out of, out of this world is what spirit is saying it's out of this world like the fact that you were able to eat up these spiritual lessons so quickly and realize that when you're being tested by the universe mm, it's 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 beautiful i love that for you guys now let's see the next card so this says order of Melchid melchadek i hope i'm pronouncing that right embrace by light mission uncovered don't give up melchadek pronounced melchizedek melchizedek whose name means king of righteousness is the first high priest mentioned in the bible the one who initiated all the great teachers that followed him he is mentioned in several aram aram aramic aramic okay including the dead sea scrolls and also the kalabas zohar he is an ancient gatekeeper of the light who is dedicated to helping all those walking the spiritual path to take the initiate initiatory steps to align with the light the best way to describe this be this great being is as a wizard oh so like i said you guys are very much magicians i love that i love that for you guys um anything you want you really just you see it materialize in your in your um reality like that that's that's mm, like i don't know like i'm getting like chills in you guys's presence and i love that when you invoke him you will feel the presence of a loving and angelic grandfather who wants to guide you to your greatness the order of melchadek which was mentioned by jesus in the new testament is a divine order of very high frequency light beings angels and masters who are working together as an energetic force dedicated to light up and outshine light up and outshining all darkness and bringing a greater balance of masculine and feminine energies to earth its members include jesus christ archangel michael arch arcania faith and mother mary by connecting to these cosmic beings we give permission for our energy to be upgraded by light and to light so that we can become an even greater vessel of purpose for the world Oh, I love that. So this is really why spirit is calling you to balance your masculine and feminine energies because this is literally what you came here to do on earth. You came to live this life that these desires that were put in your heart, they were put there for a reason. Like your desires are your destiny. And spirit is saying that you really just need to be able to balance it and handle it all instead of working yourself to the bones till the brakes pop off, okay? When you feel when you're feeling challenged by something that feels like a big life lesson, call in the order order of Mel melchadek light bearers and angelic beings and cosmic guides thank you for envelop enveloping me in your brilliant crystal clear light oh i love that so you can just say that whenever you feel like you're going through a challenge i'll put it on the screen for you guys okay your message you have learned so much and are now recognizing all the great lessons your experiences and challenges have brought you. The Order of Melchadek is coming to you today to encourage you to come to continue on this pathway and not to give up even in moments of darkness and fear. There is opportunity for you to share your light. If you're feeling overwhelmed, it is imperative for you to know you are not alone. Light is with you and within you and by invoking spiritual support, you will be able to muster up strength, courage and focus focus you and the focus you need to surmount whatever challenges you face so don't think that you guys are alone spirit is saying that you're being supported immensely and that's probably why you guys were drawn to this group um let me see 
So for those of you that are struggling with finding your joy, I'm going to use my inner child deck to just see what your inner child needs you to know right now. Because sometimes it can be hard to connect with your, with our inner child. Um, also, a meditation that you can do is when you're in meditation, you can like really visualize what you looked like when you were younger and have a conversation with your inner child to really ask what it is that they need. Because your inner child is really linked to your joy. And then we're going to ask your future higher self for any messages at the end. Um, whilst also reading the, the card that you chose that you, were that you were drawn to in the beginning as a closing ritual. Okay. So let's see what your inner child needs to hear right now. What is group number two's inner child need to hear right now, Spirit? Let's see. Any messages from their inner child, Spirit? Find your heaven. There is a place of wonder just waiting for you. So some of you guys, it might just be like a walk is what I'm getting. Like going out into nature and really just grounding yourself right now. Because I feel like you've been through so much. And this new version of you that is out and fully conscious, crown chakra activated, remembering who you, what you came here to do. This version of you really just truly needs to like take a breath is what I'm getting. Okay, So let's see what this card has to say for you. me um find your heaven as children we saw out secret places that were hidden and special we found them while climbing up a tree or lying in the tall grass we built forts of pillows and sheets tents of sticks in branches homes of branches homes of imagination and magic we strung up fairy lights and collected trinkets and treasures for our special place we read our stories there and ate our forbidden treats there it was a place all up all of our own if you have pulled this card it may be time to find a hideaway once again so here's a playful exercise before you begin to consider where this special place might be first connect with the adventurous aspect of your inner child remember what it felt like when you stumbled upon those hidden places how it hummed with its own magical energy just for you now once you hold this feeling inside you inside of you let your intuition guide you to where you might connect with this energy again as an adult no if as a child you were unable to experience the magic of a hideaway then the following practice might be beneficial first reflect on the aspects of the of life that bring you wonder next take steps to incorporate these aspects into a physical place that will embody that wonder if you can if you cannot recall that which brings you wonder reflect on what makes you feel safe and take steps to create that space for yourself here's some journaling prompts what magical things can you bring into your life today? Let your imagination run free with the possibilities. There are no limits on our dreams. So that's what your inner child had to say today. Let's see. Any messages? I'm going to read um, from the Rebels deck for what this card brings to you. Any light codes, any activations, any rituals that may you guys may need from this and then lastly we're going to close off with a message from your higher self okay so let's see where is that um where is that going oh here it is i was like where am i okay um doo -doo -doo -doo. that's number 33 okay excuse me okay heaven sent <clears throat> just as we receive gifts in the physical world through the thoughtfulness of others to acknowledge how much we mean to them so too we receive gifts on other levels including the spiritual level <clears throat> a spiritual gift is something that happens through grace we can ask for help and it may be given <clears throat> sorry Ooh, my throat chakra some of you guys um maybe as a kid you didn't get to speak your mind is what spirit is saying um and maybe even if you can't figure out your safe space maybe just practicing um saying affirmations to your inner child that make them feel safe so that you can better connect with your inner child all right so back to what i was saying 
A spiritual gift is something that happens through grace. We can ask for help and it may be given in response to that request. All requests for help are answered. A spiritual gift can also be given without us asking for anything at all, at least not consciously. Sometimes it is our hearts it it is our hearts that cry out for help. While we are busy getting on with our to-do list, we don't often stop to think about what our hearts might need. If we do, an immediate solution is not obvious. We just get on with life, either letting the issue be or taking the, the more painful option of dwelling on it without seeing how it might be resolved. So like I was saying before, like this group, like you might be used to getting stuff done getting stuff done so you're really just operating out of the masculine but connecting to your feminine energy what brings you joy what's going to make you um feel good right now and as i look up i notice the card on my wall that says hug and i think some of you guys just really truly need a hug from yourself maybe you never got that physical touch as a kid so you just learn to just kind of go through life and just learn what you got well, learn what you have to do to get to the top and spirit is saying that you really just need to slow down and really disconnect with your inner child at this time okay um connect back to your heart center however there is loving benevolence in life that knows exactly what we need and how it can be how it can best come to us even when we are not quite so clear this force actively seeks to assist us in our waking in our walk, walking of our life path Ooh. the loving sweetness is being offered to you now or soon will be in the form of a spiritual gift your spiritual gift may be symbolic it may be something that seems ordinary but holds a lot of meaning to you it might be an object that catches your eye and mesmerizes you you might think you are appreciating how lovely it looks but it is the underlying energy that captures you something in the appearance color so you guys are about to find out what your spiritual gifts are soon and i do have a spiritual gift deck so i'm going to actually pull that out after i finish reading this for you guys the healing process and what you need to hear um and then after that we'll do a, a message from your future heart itself because i didn't know you guys um <laughs> needed to hear about your spiritual gifts so your girl got you i got you so it says, or shape speaks to you. So the thing that you're going to see, the shape might speak to you and is perhaps answering an unspoken prayer. It is not the object that is the gift. That is just the wrapping. The actual gift is subtle, yet effective empowered, empowerment. Effective empower, empowerment. It is like a, it is like a spiritual booster shot that helps you move forward in life with additional zing, extra strength, and greater peace. You will be empowered to accomplish tasks that you may have nearly but not quite been able to manage on your own through the bestowing of a spiritual gift the spiritual gift may or may not be recognizable to you it may be obvious an offer a windfall a trip a friendship a new lover or a remarkable healing in a current relationship it might be far more subtle and even more powerful such as a jolt of energy that allows you to perceive things differently all of a all of a sudden and perhaps solve a problem that has been plaguing you it will be bestowed as as and when it is needed in the form that will best serve the love in you this oracle brings you the message let yourself be helped assistance is coming your way so act on it and say yes if you have dr also drawn the oracle of collaborative dreaming then this message is amplified it is very significant as the as the assistance is coming from the hand of life itself trust it so spirit is really sending someone or something to help you at this time and because this group i'm really getting that strong masculine energy you have to be open to receiving so trying those breathing exercises trying um yoga for your feminine energy is really what's going to allow you to fully accept this help that is coming in for you okay and this oracle also comes with messages that you are you are to trust in things that you feel and say to others without knowing why it moves them you might not understand but through tr but through trust, you are allowing yourself not to overthink and censor yourself. As much as such, you are able to become a vessel through which the spiritual gift can be passed on to others. Don't block yourself. Let life happen through you. Only benefit can come from this. If you have drawn any other card in addition to this one, it acts as a wild card and an amplifier. When you draw the Oracle of Heaven sent in addition to another card, the universe really wants your attention. It's saying, look love is speaking to you directly here so pay attention really feel the truth of what is being said and trust it you're being helped <laughs> spirit is really screaming that they're, they're trying to help you right now it is simple to receive the gift that is headed your way the healing process below will activate that for you so here's the healing process that you have to say okay so repeat this after me 
Through unconditional love, I now accept the spiritual gifts that are bestowed upon me with complete trust and gratitude. So be it. So that's the message of um, the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck. So just allow, just allow yourself to accept the help um, and to not censor yourself. And as I'm speaking, I don't know, my throat chakra is really, it's really blocking up. So let me pull out some the spiritual gift deck um for some of you guys i'm i'm getting that like whatever spiritual gifts come up you can allow yourself to either research this um whichever one catches your eye whichever one you're drawn to the most and just uh, follow your curiosity so what spirit is saying follow your curiosity so let's see what spiritual gifts does pile number two need to, need to know that they have what are they good at what gifts are unlocking for them as well as also being open to whatever gifts spirit spirit is sending you at this time okay so let's see what gifts the spirit root number two have spirit what gifts does root number two have spirit mm. So we have spiritual house cleanser you're being called to explore spiritual cleansing and bringing positive energy to your space by removing negativity through various methods so this might be a gift that you have or this is what spirit might be asking you to do with your energy maybe your room is cluttered um just cleansing the negative energies out of your space so that you can allow for this new energy this receptive energy to flow into your space <sighs> throwing bones hmm. You're being called to explore bone casting to commune with the spirits of elders and ancestors for messages of healing and wisdom. Ooh, okay. Ayurvedic medicine. You're being called to explore healing with Ayurvedic treatment to help bring internal purification for balance. Okay, I'm going to pull actually. Let's see, let's split the deck and pull four more cards aromatherapy you're being called to explore essential oil therapies to help improve emotional and physical well-being so this might be for you or this might be like how you can help others so you're a peacemaker you're being called to explore using your skills of diplomacy ideals of fairness and compassion to find fair solutions so some of you guys might be a libra um take that as a reson resonate psycho cartography you're being called to explore connections to places through the land what does that say? Ley lines, meridians, la laginal and longitudinal, longitudinal and lateral. Okay, okay. Matches, matches, matrices. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I'm struggling right now. <laughs> By reading about the land, you are receiving and understanding the message of the land. Okay, so for whoever that is for, you you know what words I'm trying to say. Um, catromancy, catromancy. You're being called to explore messages. <clears throat> In a deck of cards, discover the guidance, guidance, the guidance messages, and future in the cards. Okay, so those are some gifts that you guys have. Um, let's see what your future higher self has to say to you. Let's close out the reading. All right, any messages from the from their higher self for group number two? For group number two, spirit, any messages from their higher self? time Ooh, i'm like bending up my balls okay all right any messages from their higher self spirit okay Ooh, okay okay oh that one was screaming at you okay let's see So it says this one that really screamed out was no whatever decision you made it was the right one so don't overthink it your dreams are never farther than you can reach an eclipse may hide your light but not forever so it's really time for you to just step out of your comfort zone and follow your dreams and stop telling yourself that they're too out of reach for you um as you connect to spirit you draw closer to your higher self so like i'm really getting that this group like life path seven 
you really just need to develop a stronger relationship with spirit and allow them to support you and lead you to the path that you want the path of, of least resistance stop allowing your mind to lead to to lead you because it's leading you down paths that like that require more work because you're not going to get there on your own you need spirit's assistance so just allow it to happen so those are the messages don't forget to like comment and subscribe it helps the channel um share this with somebody that might need it but you guys allow the change to happen in your life you're doing an amazing job spirit sees all the work that you've done they just want to bless you now so just be open to receiving i love you guys have a good day